That is a beautiful fish. Thanks, buddy. Just want a fish. Big. That'll be my first ever fishy by myself. First ever fishy caught with someone who got me. Second fish. Big. Oh, you. <laughs> How in the world did you possibly do that? <laughs> All right, hold up. Bring it in. Bring it in. Wow, you're way tangled. All right, there's one difference in what you were just doing. So because of the practice, you could reel that all the way up if you wanted. Remember, in this case, I've put a bigger uh, snap swivel on there so you can see it better. This never touches that. You can get close to it, but don't ever let it touch it. All right, reel in a little bit. All right, that's good. I'm gonna go sand flea on the top. Real fish. And we're gonna go shrimp on the bottom. Shrimp? Yep. That's a little expensive. No. I caught this shrimp, so it was free. Yeah, you could sell it for a lot more. I don't know. We're going to have shrimp fish tacos here tonight. Right. That is acting really fishy over there. I figured that what I could do is I could like kind of swing it like this and flick it over like that. Yeah. And then it goes straight. All right, there you go. Remember, after you cast, remember, you have to set your drag. Now, if you're holding the rod, you don't have to set the drag. If you're not gonna put it in a rod holder, you don't have to set the drag. But in that case, you don't want the drag all the way tight either. Because even if you're holding it, a big enough fish can pull it right out of your hands. All right, there you go. Right. Whoops, I forgot to set these for you. I had to set it once. Good. Just make sure the reel never goes in the sand. You can stab the butt into the sand and lay it across your back and work on your pole. You could totally do that. Just make sure the reel never goes in the sand. Are you reeling against the drag? Is, there, is your reel making a clicking sound when you reel? No. Yeah, it is. Now go. There you go. Okay, we still got bait. We'll just go down there. I set your rod holder up. Cast exactly like you were. Walk out into the water to about knee deep and then cast. Every ripple in the sand, he's digging up, looking for sand fleas. He's working. I mean, he's working. Hey, Bruce. So remember, after you cast, right, leave your bell open, grab the string, and walk back just gently pinching the string, because if you close your bell and then walk, all of that distance that you casted, you're now pulling it back in. Oh, okay. So just leave the bell open and let the string just gently go through your fingers. That way you don't lose that 15 or 20 feet from your cast. Oh, like you cut? With the bait. On the hook, you mean? Yeah. All right, when that happens, make it bleed a little bit, and then you're good. There you go. Keep doing that. Don't change anything that you're doing. Keep reeling it the same way. Pull back, reel down. Pull back, reel down. Just pull back, reel down. We're learning how to reel a fish in. You had a fish a minute ago that I think you reeled it too quickly. This is how we're gonna reel a fish in. And then when you get towards the end, and you start to see it in the, uh, the wave, you're gonna surf the fish in on a wave. You don't try to pull him through the wave going out because it's gonna put too much pressure on him. 
So you're gonna just slowly, when a wave comes in, then you pull the fish here. But wait till you can see him. I know, you're not gonna see him yet. I want you to learn to reel slowly and gingerly. Reel down, lean back. Reel down, lean back. Can I reel fast down? Don't, you don't have to reel fast. Don't reel any faster than you are. And in fact, the bigger the fish, in this situation, the bigger the fish, the slower you're gonna reel. And this is exactly what we're gonna do when we have a fish on. Reel down, Boy, keep going, on keep going, lean down, reel back. Now wait, 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 reel, 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 reel. You're no, that's not real. That's lean back. Keep going, keep going, keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. All right, keep keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, you got one! Keep going. You are too counting that. All right, it totally counts. <laughs> By the way, this is a pompano. A baby pompano. This is a baby pompano, but this is a pompano. If he was 11 inches from here to here, we would be eating him. But since he's not of a uh, keeper, you throw him back in? first you gotta kiss him. Uh, that's kiss him. Wow. Wait, get a picture. Kiss him. Wow. No, Mwah. kiss him. Come on! You gotta kiss the fish! All right. Then we're just gonna lob him back in. Well, I didn't throw the line. It doesn't matter if you threw the line. So what did you catch him on? Um, that one. What was on there? Um, baby pump. No, what bait? Oh, um, I'm not sure. Shrimp. I'm putting sampling on top, shrimp and shrimp bites on the bottom. So if we do that again, and it hits shrimp again, we're gonna go back and set everything up for a uh, pump. Now, these are the long poles, and I gotta cast it far. So, but it still counts. You just caught that fish. How far do you want me to cast? I'm gonna show you right now, and then if you feel like you wanna try to cast it that far, I'll let you. That was 150 yards, man. Very few people could do that. Come on. That must have been 500 yards just now. It was at least 750 yards. <laughs> good, good fish. Look at that. That, my friend, is a whiting. All right, so we're gonna walk back over. We're gonna walk back over, you're gonna put this in your rod holder. All right. Is that a good to eat? Yes. He's, he's right on the edge of being big enough to keep, but we're gonna go ahead and let you keep him, that way uh, you both go home with one. And uh, let me get him unhooked, you're gonna... All right, we're gonna take two pictures. One of them, you're gonna hold him close. Show me more of the fish. No, sideways, show me the fish, all right? Now this one, hold it way out like this, and it looks much bigger. All right, good fish, good fish. All right, so, give them to me for a second. Papa's gill. Two fish in less than five minutes. All right, do not put your hands near that fish's mouth. Do not put your hands near that fish's mouth. Bruce, look at me and hold it up. You know what that is? That's a trip to the emergency room. <laughs> All right, that is a bluefish. <coughs> and it's a very good bluefish. You did really, really good, but they bite. So I'm gonna take care of dehooking it for you. All right, hold him out, make him look huge. All right. Six inches. There you go. Not bad, not bad. 
Leave it open. Put a little tension on it. Walk back. Just a little tension. Not enough to drag your sinker, just enough to keep your line from heading down the beach because of the wind. All right, close your bell. Put it in. Set your drag. Put a little bend in the tip. Just a little bit more of a bend. All right, let's come check pole number two. I don't know if anything's on it or not, but let's gonna, we're gonna reel it like there's a fish on it. You want the whole fish, not the lips. Real gentle, there you go, nice finesse. You're watching your line in the water, not your feet. Your feet aren't doing anything for you. All right, real gentle movements. Because once that fish gets to this sandbar, this closed sandbar, he's gonna have all kind of leverage against you. And you can see, if you look, you can see your line is in the water. So when you see that line start coming in, you want to start surfing your fish in. So you use the waves to your benefit. So you're doing real gentle movements, but when it comes up to a wave, then you take two or three steps backwards. All right, don't pull your pole so high up. Just keep it at about 45 degrees, which is about like that. There you go, there you go. All right, nothing on there, but you're learning, you're practicing it and it builds muscle memory. All right, we still got good bait. We're gonna put it back out where it was. We're still got eggs in there. All right, aim for 12 o'clock. But the last time you aimed for 12 o'clock, you cast it at 10 o'clock. So if you need to, aim at one. And you don't have to go deep on this one. This one is your close pole. Look at your six inches. Get your swivel clip up a little higher. It gives you more control. The, the, lower, the shorter that leader, the better. All right, pinch, keep an eye on your sinker. There you go. That wasn't bad, that actually wasn't bad. We're gonna leave that right there, but we don't wanna drag it in at all. So, that wasn't bad. You would be surprised how often the fish are in the short, real up close. The tide is coming in, right? Which means that all of your bait's being pushed off the front of the sandbar. And that's where they're waiting. All right, your uh, number one needs to be bent. Give it a little bend. You got a huge droop in your line. So just give it a little bend. All right, well done. Look for your line. Right at the water. Try to follow the line through the water. So that you can know, have an idea of where it's at coming in. Yeah, you're just rebating right now. All right, let's set it in the rod holder. Wait. Go ahead and sit in the rod. That was completely ripped off. Yep. Yeah, see, you know what did that? Remember I told you about the bluefish? Yep. Whoop. All right, so loosen the drag. You don't have to tighten the drag up quite so much. I'm gonna go put this one in. All right. We gotta get you another rig. By the way, when you're walking away, you're keeping an eye on the rods. Something I'll tell you, by the way, if you're fishing like this, let's say we got a big bite right now, do not just drop this on the beach because this would hurt somebody bad, right? The other thing is, this fishing line is one of the worst things that we can leave, lose. So, I like to put it someplace I'm not gonna step on it, and then I put something on top of it that I'm not gonna lose, or that I'm not gonna leave, right? So I can't leave without my shoes, the wind's not gonna blow that away, and I'm gonna definitely clean it up. Keep your eye on the water, and every now and then look at your brother poles. Make sure none of them are getting a big bite right now. Yeah. About every three reels, peek over your shoulder and look at your other rods.
Find your line in the water, you're getting close. You don't want it to come flying out of there and smack you in the head. All right. Oh, whoa, 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 see that rod down here? All right, he's running up the beach. That's a really good sign. I'm gonna walk with him. If he pulls too hard, let him take a little drag. Use the waves to my benefit. I'm watching the top of the water. This is a good fish. As soon as I get close to a wave, I back up a little bit. I don't want to do any jerking movements. You'll notice when he starts getting tired. So you see my line right there in front of that wave? He's going back up the beach. So one of two things does this. Sharks do this and Pompano do this. Now, since it's going towards my other line, I want to start paying attention. I don't want to get him hung up. All right, watch out, watch out, watch out. This is a pompano. All right, he's just right there. He's got a lot of leverage against me, so I don't want to be doing any jerking on him, right? But then I just walk back. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we are here. Bruce, come hold my rod, please. Now, what did I tell you about Pompano? Um, they run in schools. So, I'm going right back out with that bait. Yeah, I'll go put your Pompano back. No, no, you're not gonna touch him. Leave him right where he's at. And he hit the top sand flea. All right, let's see that. Keep an eye on the rods, too. All right. Woohoo, good fish. Good fish. Bruce, put your rod in the holder. Come here. What kind of fish is that? That is a pompano. Uh, it's a pompano. Oh, That's wow. why we are here. That is the fish we are targeting. Leave it alone. Come here. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Pretty colors. Beautiful fish. Beautiful Any fish. Any size limit? Yeah, I'm about to show him how to measure it right now. What are we doing? All right, you see this black line? Yeah. From here to here is 11 inches. And it has to be to the fork. So I put his nose on the edge of the cutting board, and then I come back here. That's the fork right there. It has to be past that line. In order for you to catch right? it? In order for you to keep it. But you see how the tail's out here? That's over, I know that my cutting board's 14 inches, but that line is 11 inches. So he's a legal fish. That's why we're here, buddy. All right, you reeled that one up way too high, by the way. I did? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. All right.
Good cast, good spot. Don't drag it in, there you go. Just a little pinch. And set your drag. Again, you want to be able to pull line out. There you go. Up, see you're picking pull up. Give it a little less drag. Loosen it up a little bit. Quite a lot. There you go. Felt like that. Reel it till it bends a little bit. And now we wait. So a lesson. I know that you like to uh, reel in a lot. That pole that just caught that pompano had been out there 30 minutes and I hadn't touched it. So the longer it sits, the better your chances, as long as it's got bait on it. All right, doing good, we're doing good. Stop it. That is a beautiful fish. Thanks, buddy. You will be in my belly. Gently, 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 gently. I can already tell he's running up the beach. Keep your pole up, lean back. We're gonna do it super gently. Uh, you didn't tighten that drag too much, did you? All right, super gently, keep reeling. Don't mess with the drag until you hear it screaming. If he starts pulling hard, you're gonna go super gently. No hard movements. He's, he's got a fish on right now. Easy, 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 easy. Start walking backwards. It, I think it is too. He just jumped out there, so he's about 40 feet from you. Walk towards me. Keep him away from your other line. Start walking towards me, walk towards me. Not up the beach, not up the beach. Keep walking down the beach, down the beach, come on. All right, real gently, real gently. He's almost here, real gently. Wait for a wave to help him surf in. Keep an eye on your rod holder. You don't want to get round up around it. Keep walking down the beach. Keep on, come on. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. He's right here. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Watch out, sweetie, watch out, sweetie. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Don't walk so far up the beach. You walk when there's a wave. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Oh, it's not a pump, but let me be a big whiting though. Come on. Oh, it is a pump. This one might keep. There you go, dude. There you go. Is it edible? Oh, yeah. All right. Fishy. Nope, you're going to walk it back. You're going to, we're going to. All right, before we do anything, we got to lay him, come on, walk towards the board. It might keep, buddy. You're not keeping them? I said it might keep. So look, the lips are there. You see where the fork is? Yeah. It's really close, man. It's really close. So to be illegal. All right, so that means I got to get him off the hook. Give me line, give me line, give me line. I got to get him off the hook because we cannot keep a fish that's too short. But we don't know yet. He's awful close. Let's find out. After you catch a fish, you have to wait 15 minutes before you can go back. All right, so his nose is there. Come look and you tell me if it's a legal fish. It looks legal. But just barely. Yeah. Just barely. You want to keep him or throw him back? I, we're keeping him, I think. All right. So, uh, go put your pole in the rod holder. I'm gonna wash him off, and then you're gonna get a picture. Oh wait, I need another You don't need anything right now. You gotta go put it back in the holder. Nope, you're gonna put it back in the holder. What's wrong with the water, Why is the water bad? Because there's a fish is bleeding in there. I don't know, I don't see it, baby. So those little pokey things on the top, they hurt, but they won't hurt you. All right, pose for your fish, keep it in tight, and then put it out. So when you put it out, it looks huge, put it back in, and then people know how big it really is. This is about 11 and quarter inches. 